Well, hello, my friends. For me this morning, whatever time of day it is for you, we, we welcome you to our daily devotional. My name is Vivian Baker, and as always, from all of us, we let you know that we're praying for you, and we pray that you are always blessed by whatever it is that the Lord puts on our hearts to share with you. Before we begin, let's pray. Father, we just come before you, Lord, and offer ourselves to you freely, freely and willingly submitting and surrendering to your will. We pray, Father, that the words that we hear from you today will truly touch our hearts and that we will be men and women who um, are conscientious and make every effort to become those men and women that you have called us to be. We pray this in your most precious name. Amen. Well, I've titled my sharing with you today, Be Quiet, My Soul. Have you ever been in a situation? Sometimes I like to start out my devos by asking a question. In a situation in your life where you've been uncertain about what's next, and sometimes we question the Lord, we question ourselves and even others. And in that questioning, it sometimes um, causes us to be frustrated and confused. We all have been that way at one time or other, and if you haven't, you will. That's life. In fact, Jesus even warns us when he tells us that in this world you will have troubles. But he also tells us to be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. So in those times when we feel that way, we yearn and we long for that quiet, peaceful soul, don't we? We want that rest and that peace that comes only from our precious Lord. And he, like he does in every situation in our life, he brings us a solution. So I'd like to read Psalm 131, verse two to you. And these are the words of David as he says, Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. Now the picture that David is presenting to us here is of this precious child. And because I see things visually when I'm learning, I imagine and I see this child that's either lying on its mother's lap or it's surrounded uh, with her loving arms wrapped around him with not a care in the world. You know, all of the comforts of this child rest in the fact that they are in their mother's arms. They're with their mother, their caregiver. They're no longer anxious for the milk from their mother's breast because they are assured that all of their needs will be met. They have total confidence and they rest in that. They're at peace, they're calm, calmed, and their soul is at rest. This child's needs are satisfied and they have matured enough at this point and grown enough in their growth to know there's no need to ever fret about not being fed again. They trust and know their mother is there and she will feed them. Such a powerful message for us, you know, is gives us hope and encouragement that we can find here in just this short little verse. In that same way for us, we can have that same peace, that same comfort, and that assurance. This hope is ours as well. We can be at rest because we know that just like this little child, we are at rest in the arms of our beloved and our loving Savior. He takes care of all of our needs. And we can fully cast all of our cares, our hopes, and our dreams upon him because we know that he cares for us, as we're told in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. We know that we have that solid foundation. We have this belief and this trust that he is in control. He'll never leave us, nor will he ever forsake us. We have grown. We have matured. And just as his eye is on the sparrow, we know, we believe, and we trust that his eye is on us as well. So when we come to that acceptance and that belief and that trust, we can then sing 
that uh, something like that beautiful refrain from that great song of, of years ago. It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. Let's pray. Father, we just come before you with such gratefulness, such gratitude in our hearts to know that you have offered us so much solace, so much peace, so much reflection. Your word is full for us. We have nothing that we lack. We have you who gives us so many of these promises. That's your job. Our job is to turn to you, to be in your word, to claim those many promises. We're so much like that little child who is being caressed and held comfortably in their mother's arms when we trust in you and we rest in you. So we thank you, Father. We praise you. We give you all the glory. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen. Well, goodbye, my friends. Until we meet again.